Welcome to this introduction to the new Cantamo Portal Final Cut Pro 10 project workflow. The Final Cut Pro 10 integration in Portal has long supported the management of media files. With the release of Portal 1.6, the workflow has expanded to include Final Cut Pro 10 projects. This means you can not only revolutionize your own working methods, but you can use Portal to share your work with colleagues. Let's take a look at the new features in action. As we've seen in earlier videos, it can be very useful to handpick items from a search and store them for later reference. If you're working independently, you can use the private media bin to achieve this. But if you're working in a group, then you might prefer to add items to a collection, which can be shared with other users. Choose Manage Collections to view the collections that are available to you. Click on a collection to view its contents. You can scrub through the item thumbnails just as you would in a search results page. You can also click the item to view item details, including item-specific metadata. Some of the metadata for this item has been configured so that it will transfer to Final Cut Pro 10. Click on the Back button to return to the collection. Click on the Gear menu and choose the Open in FCP 10 option to send the collection to Final Cut Pro. The lightweight Cantamo agent application on the client Mac processes the transaction and the collection appears as an event in Final Cut Pro 10. As in previous examples, it's worth noting that both Portal and Final Cut Pro reference the same files on the network, and so the media is not being transferred. Any annotations that have been added to the clip will be represented by keyword collections. The blue lines on the clips indicate where the keywords have been applied to a range within the clip. This is a great way to pre-select clips in Portal. But as you can see, it doesn't actually limit your options during editing, as you can still access all of the media. Select a clip and open the Info Inspector. Here, you can see some of the metadata that has transferred from Portal. Click the New Project button. Enter a meaningful name and make sure you've selected an appropriate default event. Press Return on your keyboard or click the OK button to create a new project. Click the first blue line to create a selection. Then, Command click the other blue lines in the other clips to select each keyword range in turn. You can then drag all of the selections to the timeline or press E on the keyboard. The magnetic timeline in Final Cut Pro makes it very easy to rearrange the order of the clips. It's just as easy to add more clips from Portal. In this example, we'll use the media bin. It already contains two clips. To send them both to Final Cut Pro, click the bin's gear menu and select the Open in FCP 10 option. The clips appear in a new date stamped event. You can leave them there, but I find it more useful to add them to a more appropriate event. It's simply a matter of selecting the clips and dragging them to the chosen event. Once the generic event is empty, you can delete it by pressing Command Delete on the keyboard. This helps keep everything tidy and organized. Add the new clips to the project timeline. To send the project to Portal requires exporting an XML file. Choose File, Export XML to open the Export XML window. If you're going to do this regularly, you might prefer to customize your keyboard commands. I use Alt or Option Command E. One crucial step here is the destination folder. The Cantamo agent has been configured to watch this folder for the arrival of a new XML file. Once the new file is added, the Cantamo Agent application springs into action and manages the transaction with Portal. Click the Save button to export the new XML file. The Cantamo Agent is able to identify which files are already known to Portal and which require additional metadata before they're added to the Asset Management System. Click the Add button to access the relevant metadata form. The contents of the form are determined by the user's permissions and directly correspond to the metadata available to the user in Portal. Complete the form as necessary. And click the OK button to submit. Click the Next button and click Start to begin the upload. Click the Done button to close the Cantamo Agent window. Refresh the search page in Portal to review the new Final Cut Pro 10 project item in the results. You can also import new media directly into Final Cut Pro, 
and that will automatically be uploaded to Portal the next time you export an XML file. Click on the Import Media button in Final Cut Pro. Locate the files you want to import. Here, I have two files on a mounted disk image. Select the files and click the Import button. Confirm that you're adding the files to the correct event. In this example, I can leave all of the other options unchecked and go straight to the Import button. The new files are added to the event. To illustrate a point, one will be appended to the end of the project and the other inserted at the beginning. Choose File, Export XML, or press your assigned keyboard command. Confirm the destination is correct and click the Save button. This time, the Cantamo Agent application recognizes the project, but not the two new files. The order of the list corresponds to the position of the clips in the timeline. As you can see, we have a new clip at the top and a new clip at the bottom. Click the Add button to enter metadata as required. Click the Next button and then Start. The new clips are uploaded to the server and the new XML file creates an update for the project item. A new portal search reveals the items are available instantaneously. The Final Cut Pro project item can be made available to other users on the system. If I log out as one user and log in as a different user, we can view many of the same items. To emphasize the difference between users, however, this user has access to a different portal theme, which changes the look and feel of the interface. The second user can now click on the item gear menu and choose Open in FCP 10. This will open the project file in Final Cut Pro. The appropriate event is added to the event library and the project to the project library. Because the project is new to this user, there's an additional step required before the media displays correctly in the project. Click to select the project in the project library and open the inspector to view the referenced events. Click the Modify Event References button and select the correct event. Click the OK button and the clips will appear in the project. The second editor can now work on the project and save any changes back to Portal. You've now seen the complete round trip process for Final Cut Pro 10 projects with Portal and how straightforward it is to create new collaborative workflows with your colleagues. I'm sure you'll agree that it's a very powerful tool and a great addition to the Portal feature set. You can find out more about Portal at www.cantamo.com.